and welcome back. In this Black Excellence series, we will highlight the 10 surprising facts about the Black millionaire next door. Welcome to BlackExcellence.com, the site where we share Black excellence, opulence, and affluence. Our mission is to inspire you as we enlighten you. We have always had this interest in Black millionaires. Who are they? what they believe, and most importantly, what behaviors brought them to success. Black millionaires aren't some rarefied class of people. They weren't born into money and privilege. Instead, they're regular people who set goals early on in life and were willing to put in the hard work and sacrifice to make those goals happen. Becoming a millionaire is the American dream, and it's far from dead. In fact, regular people make it happen every day, and it's very likely that one who is staying in the same neighborhood as you. In this original Black Excellence video series, we will highlight the top 10 traits of the black millionaire that may just be living next door to you. So without further ado, let's get started. Number one, most black millionaires are first generation wealth. Most black millionaires don't inherit their money and are not the benefactors of their parents' fortune. In fact, 80% receive no inheritance whatsoever. Most black millionaires earn their wealth through hard work, sacrifice, and sticking to a plan. They consistently save money by avoiding debt, paying in cash, and working extra hours when possible. People often think those with a million in the bank are lucky, but in reality, those onlookers simply cannot see all of the hard work and dedication that was required for these first-generation millionaires to accomplish such a feat. Number two, black millionaires didn't reach millionaire status until they were almost 50. When you think of a millionaire, you may think of a flashy rapper, ball player, entertainer, cryptocurrency investor, or Wall Street trader. These are all stereotypes of people who it may seem were able to become millionaires almost overnight. Um, no. This is not the profile of most black millionaires. The truth is, over 90% of black millionaires needed at least 10 years for their hard work, strategizing and planning to start to gain traction. Most did not earn their first million dollars until they were the age of 49. So the idea that most black millionaires sign these big million dollar contracts or hit it big on the stock market is simply a big illusion. The typical black millionaire next door is not all about getting rich quick. They are in it for the long haul. Black millionaires normally take very safe and predictable bets and generally avoid any high-risk investment vehicles. They tend to lean towards mutual funds, which balance a reasonable diversified risk with a good potential for growth. Or they find some moderate investment to park their earnings in and just play defense. Number three, black millionaires have a college education. To get into the millionaire club, you need a prestigious education and a high-status job, right? Nope. There's definitely some truth in the notion that most millionaires have a college education. Almost 9 in 10 black millionaires have a bachelor's degree, while studies have shown that only 30% of the rest of black America does. So college education does matter. It's not a necessity for success, but there is a strong correlation between black college alumni and black millionaires. One of the reasons is because college graduates make almost 75% more over the course of their lives than those with only a high school diploma. And most do not attend the Ivy League or top tier school Schools. Many, over 60%, got their degrees from a public state school, which means they end up paying half the cost compared to a brand name school for the same degree. And as college students, future black millionaires understood the importance of trying to stay debt free in their college years, so they limited their dependencies on student loans and resisted credit cards. And since most black millionaires absolutely hate debt, they made paying off any student loans a priority so they can begin saving money at the start of their careers. Number four, black millionaires are normal people with normal jobs. The black millionaire next door does not necessarily have high paying jobs and certainly didn't start their careers with massive salaries. Another myth about black millionaires is that they all make six figures. 
In fact, the household income of 30% of them have never even reached six figures per year, and only about a third of them have made $100,000 a year on average. It may be a little hard to believe, but the top five occupations and professions among black millionaires are engineers, accountants, teachers, managers, and lawyers. It really rings true that most black millionaires are normal people with normal jobs, but what sets them apart is their mentality around money, not a six-figure yearly salary. Number five, most black millionaires become rich through a 401k plan. We all can be distracted by get-rich-quick schemes or tempted by high-risk deals promising high rewards. But black millionaires are extremely patient and insanely consistent, tending to forgo risky deals. For black millionaires, there's nothing better than the magic of compound interest earned in long-term investment options that they can trust. The majority of black millionaires next door make their money through their good old-fashioned company savings plan, the 401k. It's common for employers offering 401k plans to match half of what you put in, up to 6% of your salary. In other words, most employer matches up to 3% of your salary total if you contribute at least 6% into your plan. This is free money. So you certainly should take advantage of it. Entrepreneurs and business owners who may not have access to a 401k most certainly make their millions through similar individual retirement accounts or investments in the S&P. Whether an employee or self-starter, both groups have one thing in common. They played the long game as investors. Instead of making a killing on a single high-earning stock, the black millionaire next door tends to be buy and hold investors. Investors. They buy good stocks and hold on to them through market ups and downs rather than trying to figure out when is the best time to sell them for a profit. This allows you to ride out the dips in the market and take full advantage of the rises. It also puts the power of compounding interest on your side. And once black millionaires receive a raise, extra funds, or pay their mortgage off, they typically put their extra income towards their 401k or other retirement accounts with tax benefits. The key is that they don't try to do anything fancy. The black millionaire next door manages to stay true to the plans that they have created to lead them to their ideal life. And with the added magic ingredients of time and interest, they can rest assured that they will slowly but surely become a coveted member of the Millionaire Club. Number six, black millionaires believe in hard work and overtime. For some reason, people tend to assume that if you are black and a millionaire, you must have been born with a silver spoon in your mouth, or you are a high paid entertainer or athlete, certainly was not born with a trust fund. In fact, almost 80% of black millionaires were not left with any inheritance at all. What helped them achieve the millionaire milestone was a combination of hard work, sacrifice, and complying with a plan. This, coupled with avoiding debt, paying with cash, and working extra hours when possible, is the key to millionaires accumulating financial success. Number seven, black millionaires operate on a budget and live well below their means. Have you ever heard the expression, champagne tastes on a beer budget? Well, this refers to people who love luxuries but can't afford them. They know the price of everything but the value of nothing. Most black millionaires live a lifestyle that's the complete opposite. They have beer tastes on a champagne budget and have absolutely zero interest in keeping up with the Joneses. The black millionaire next door doesn't give in to lifestyle inflation as their earnings increase. Instead of trading up, they typically hang on to their modest houses, cars, and clothes. They spend conservatively and believe in delayed gratification, where other consumers like to ball out. The average black millionaire owns a house with an appraised value of $550,000 with an average size of 2,600 square feet. In many cases, they purchased that house for around $175,000. Because most black millionaires next door have been living in the same home for over 20 years, 75% of them have already paid off their mortgages, and their homes represent one-third of their net worth. In terms of cars, most black millionaires next door are driving cars that are at least four years old with over 40,000 miles on it. 
Almost half of them purchased a used American car rather than a new foreign one, and more than 80% have no car note at all. In terms of clothes, more than half of the men have paid no more than $700 for a tailored suit. Their typical top price for a pair of shoes was $250, and blue jeans were their favorite article of clothing. In terms of dining, our visions of the stereotypical black millionaire include feasts of four-course meals, lobsters, steak, and shrimp with glasses of fine wines and champagne. But contrary to what most believe, the ordinary black millionaire doesn't prioritize fine dining at all. They like chicken wings, pizza, and beer, just like the rest of America. Millionaires normally cook and eat at home while only spending $200 or less on restaurant meals each month. And when they do go to the grocery store, they habitually adhere to a grocery list and most use coupons. In terms of shopping, black millionaires seldom purchase high-end brands and luxury items. Their favorite go-to spots are just like the rest of America. They shop on Amazon and frequent Costco, Kroger's, Target, and Home Depot. Number eight, black millionaires do not give adult children cash gifts. The black millionaire next door does not believe in economic outpatient care for their grown kids. This is when a wealthy parent bestows money, gifts, and economic subsidies on a fully capable adult. The problem with economic outpatient care is that it trains the adult child to consume money rather than invest it to build wealth. Black millionaires firmly believe that regularly giving adult children money sets them up to live beyond their means and embrace a high consumption lifestyle. Cash gifts are habit forming and discourage adult children from becoming independent, investors, and hard workers. These gifts lead to acts of flaunting and displaying status rather than saving and investing as goals. Recipients feel entitled to spend their parents' wealth and cannot distinguish between their parents' bank account and their own. Adult children who receive gifts run up significantly more credit than independent adult children. They fall into a cycle of using credit to fill cash flow gaps while waiting for cash gifts or an inheritance from their parents. Black millionaires want to mold their children into financially stable adults who have picked up on their parents' discipline and resourcefulness. Millionaire parents' worst nightmare is to find themselves with indulged and underachieving adults who need subsidies to maintain an expensive lifestyle. Instead, they want to be the type of parents who have instilled in their children the values of practicing frugality, accepting challenges, and exercising independence. Instead of giving cash gifts, black millionaire parents nurture productivity in their children by paying for their education, providing modest help in starting a business, or co-signing a small loan for life's necessities. They also elect to give adult children stock or other financial assets that can't be easily converted to cash, like college savings accounts or savings bonds for the grandchildren. Number nine, black millionaires have confidence. Most people who become millionaires have confidence in their own abilities. They understand that they are responsible for their own money and their own destiny. Confidence is their greatest weapon as they chase their dreams and work to accomplish everything they can. In most instances, the path they have chosen is uncomfortable and challenging, but it is necessary. Every successful person has made a choice at some point in their life to keep marching even as they faced adversities or a string of defeats. But most black millionaires choose to believe in themselves and keep fighting down the long path of success. People who are confident in everything that they do, from their social life to their work endeavors, have experienced many failures. They've lost their jobs or maybe been fired from one. The black millionaire next door ignores what others think. They trust themselves, they challenge themselves, and they follow their dreams while collaborating with friends and mentors where needed. Number 10, most black millionaires are married. Not only are black millionaires married, but the majority of them have been married to the same person for the majority of their adult lives. 
these couples have accelerated their trajectory to a sizable nest egg through the power of a two-income household. With both spouses contributing to the finances, married couples have a competitive edge in the race to a million dollars. But living like the black millionaire next door doesn't just mean getting married, it means marrying the right person. And for everyday millionaires, the right person is typically someone who shares your frugal values. Usually millionaire status is something that the couples achieve together. In many instances, the wives were the budget enforcers and are often the more conservative with the money. The frugal wife plays a key role in reaching and maintaining the millionaire household. These spouses are great at the money game because they play great defense by spending as little of it as possible. Being on the same page financially could explain why these marriages were generally successful ones. Now, we are not saying that you have to be married to become a millionaire. We are just pointing out the obvious. Two people working together with great synergy towards the same goal can certainly achieve more than one person and in significantly less time. We appreciate the fact that you stayed with us until the end. Thank you for spending time with us and don't forget to like this video. Also, make sure you subscribe so that you never miss a video. Bye for now. We will see you tomorrow.